Hey guys, it's Lynn. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a haul. I am leaving for Berlin in two weeks, so I wasn't supposed to be spending any money before that, but I just couldn't help myself. So if you want to see what I have bought this month, thank you for watching. To start off, I want to start with the lipsticks that I have bought. I'm a total lip junkie, I know in every haul I have a lot of new lipsticks. I got seven new lipsticks from Wet n Wild. I will be doing a swatch and review video on these ones. The color I have on today, I just couldn't help myself, I had to try them out. It's the Vamp It Up in number 919B. And these lipsticks, you guys, are so pigmented I just love them as you can see they're also very pigmented this is just one swipe of the lipstick and these really stays on for the whole day I also got six other colors so I got Pinker Bell which is a coral pink cinnamon spice which is a brownish red and it looks gorgeous can't wait to try that stoplight red which is another red don't blink pink which is a bright pink i got a lighter pink which is called dollhouse pink and last but not least i also got raven raisin which is like a plum color which is a little bit lighter than the one i have on but i love it as well so that was the lipsticks I got from Wet n Wild I also went ahead and picked up six new of the NYX rounded lipsticks I love these these are so creamy so pigmented and they have so many colors to choose from I have been into very deep dark lips lately so I got three very like uh, darker colors so I got Bruised in, in this one, I got Hero and Black Cherry. These are the more darker colors that I got and I can swatch one for you. This is my favorite and as you can see this is so pigmented as well and this, these two colors are actually pretty much alike. These are great lipsticks, you should try it out. And the three other ones that I got are like mauve and pink colors. So I got Doll Purple, Chloe and Paparazzi. So I can't wait to try these out as well. So last but not least, I also bought two of my new Viva La Diva lipsticks. I now have probably almost a whole collection but I love these, these are so gorgeous and pigmented and you guys should really, really try them out if you have the chance or if you can find them in your local store because these lipsticks, these are the best that I've tried. I got a very brown, deep brown red color which is called New York City and let me swatch it for you. And as you can see, these are so pigmented and gorgeous. Uh, I also got another one called Hard Rock Sweetie, which is more like a very light nude pinkish color. And I think this will be gorgeous. And as you can see there, that is very pigmented and it's a gorgeous color. So I can't wait to try these ones out in a tutorial and as I said I am going to do a swatch and review video on the Wet n Wild lipstick so stay tuned for that and we're done with the lipids so another thing that I bought is just a little something I bought a new baby lip the baby lip rescue has finally come to Norway so I just had to have one of them and this thing I'm so excited for. I bought this palette from Smash It, which is a Swedish brand. When I saw it, I thought, 
I need to try this out and what it is is a concher kit and I've already tried it out and I couldn't help myself and I'm loving this color here for contouring and also this color here for setting my powder or setting my concealer so I was so excited I was so impressed I I'm just loving it and I think it's a new brand because they don't have a lot of stuff out yet but if you can get your hands on this one I recommend you to try it because I'm loving it I think this will show up in my favorites video this month and also I will do a tutorial with using this very soon that yellow toned color really makes your under eyes look gorgeous which I love so definitely I'm so excited love that product uh, another thing that I bought was two new brushes from Real Techniques uh, this one is their new sculpting brush and I'm so excited to try this out because it looks perfect for contouring it looks like it really will get the line in there so I'm so excited to try this out and I just bought an extra expert face brush because I use this every single day to apply my foundation so it's good to have a backup so when the other one is dirty I can use this one and the other way around so about that so next I also bought another contour kit this is from Makeup Mecca and it's the cream contour kit in light and as you can see here are the colors I haven't tried it yet but I think I will really like it uh, so I like that color there for under my eye and this one I think I will use for contouring but I will of course try it out and let you know if I like it or not but I got it for $20 which is very cheap so love that excited to try that out I also bought a new Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the color Translucent they don't have that color here in Norway so when I found it online I just ordered it because I wanted to try another color but this powder is a great powder to set your face I also bought the new L'Oreal Nude Magic BB powder and I bought the color light skin and I tested it out in the store and it looks so beautiful and it just feels uh, I don't know if you can see that but it feels so soft it's very pigmented and yeah I think it will be a great powder to set my foundation and concealer with and it also comes with a mirror under here and of course the sponge which always comes with the powders but yeah that's that I'm so excited to try it out I will let you know if I like it or not I also just got another stay matte foundation by Rimmel in soft beige and um, they were sold out in the store so I just ordered it online when I bought the other stuff. Next I also bought the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer portion. I got the travel size because I wanted to check it out before I went with the whole size. So I'm so excited for this product. They have finally started to sell Urban Decay here in Norway. They launched it uh, last week and I'm so excited to order more but I just wanted to have something to try out and see if I like this one. So I got that. Next I also got the Invisible Cover Radiant Concealer from Makeup Mecca. I was actually surprised when I saw this because it's so small. It's not a lot of product in here but maybe you don't need that much. Let me see. Oh, it's really like watery. I don't know if you can see that. But it feels very light on the skin and it feels very creamy and 
it's very blendable so I think I would like that but it, it doesn't cover a lot but I'll give it another try. Then I also got the 5XL Volume Mascara from Makeup Mecca which I'm so excited to try out. I have never tried any of their mascaras before so it will be fun to see if this really really works. It says that it's supposed to give you a false lashes effect. So we'll see about that. So last but not least I went into H&M to look around for some new makeup and stuff I wanted and I found these towels here which just blew my mind. I just had to have them in that moment. I think they will look so cute in my bathroom for my guests with the perfume, nail polish and lipstick. It's so me so I had to buy them and they were around $12 um, and you get two of them which is great so oh can wait to hang them up and just stare at them all day. So yeah, that was uh, pretty much what I bought this week. I hope you enjoyed it. So please leave, leave down below if you want me to do a review or swatch video of anything except from the Wet n Wild lipstick. If you enjoyed this video, give it a huge thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!